it's Jordan coming at you from the Dolly Couch. Uh, missed you guys. Um, I got a new doll today, so I wanted to do a uh, unboxing. Um, I kind of didn't really know anything about these dolls, but I decided that I was going to buy one, see how they are, and then I might possibly buy the rest, depending on how much I like them. But I've heard they are very unique. Um, but it's these. I was really interested in the Nana Surprise Teens. These are bigger. I guess they're like um, 11 inches. And they're supposedly cloth. Um, so that's going to be interesting to see, you know, posability, you know, things like that. So I always go for the boy dolls first. I have an obsession with boy dolls. Started all the way back from Ken. So here we go, guys. Let's go to it. I'm excited. Okay, guys. So we have our Nana Surprise or Na 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 Surprise Teens uh, doll here. So his name is Quinn Nash. He has really cool box art. He is a series one. And this is the back of the box. Forgive my little artistic mess here. This is where I paint, so sometimes I get a little messy. But um, it shows the other dolls here. There apparently is a total of six dolls. Now, the unique thing about these is that they're supposed to be cloth. So let's get started here. Now, first thing it says is to push here. So... Okay. So that worked. Packaging is kind of unique. I've never seen anything like this before. So. Sorry if I'm doing this terribly. I am not. I'm new to this doll. So. Cracking this thing open, I was like cracking open an egg. I'm trying, I want to make sure I don't cut myself. Okay. If you ever get one of these, be very aware this plastic is sharp. I almost cut myself just there right now. So. Okay. There is our little doll. Oh my gosh. And he's posable. He's really actually very posable. That's cute. And he's got wires or something in there that help his arms bend. Okay. Scissors here. There we go. So yeah, he's definitely jointed. He's got a little net over his face. This is such a unique doll. He reminds me of, when I was a little kid, he reminds me of a doll called the My Child Dolls. I don't know if any one of you remembers those, but he's very cute. Super, super cute. I'm actually really impressed. And he, has, he can bend his little legs and his little arms. Very cute for a soft sculpture doll. I really like it. It does feel like he's got some sort of a rubber encasement inside his head. His body, too, a little bit. So there's definitely some sort of a rubber internal structure for these dolls. Very cute, though. Not a big fan of the tag sticking off the back of the head. I'm probably going to cut that off. Actually, I probably will do that now because that's going to bother me. I wonder if this is like those do not remove tags from the backs of your, off your mattress beds. <laughs> there we go. I cut that off because that's better. Way better. Now, sitting them is going to be a little bit of a pain. It looks like their legs can only go like this. 
<laughs> but he's going to be fun to stand up and, and dress. Very cute, though. And this is super soft. His hair is rooted. Definitely rooted. And the artwork is very cute. Okay, let's look at some of these fashions. So it looks like everything is here in a, like, secretive little thing. Although, I mean, you can tell what dolls they, I mean, what outfit he has because of the packaging, but there we go. Okay. So I'm going to remove these out. we go. There's his paperwork. We're going to move that out. Okay, let's put this aside. This feels like maybe his shoes. Shoes are so cute. Aww. They're so adorable. I gotta try them on even though he's not dressed. Oh, his little shoes fit on him really well. They pop right on. He's a little band aid like he banged his knee. Oh, he's... Sorry for the paint. That's hardened paint. Don't worry. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to save this because I might put him back in this box. Sometimes I give the dolls away that I uh, open for my videos. Depends on if I decide to keep them or not. But I'll hold contests and stuff for some of the dolls that I open if I decide I'm not keeping them. Just making sure there's no cloth up there that I'm going to cut. Okay. What is this? His little shirt. That's so cute. Oh my god. I love it. So let's put his shirt on. Let's see what he's gonna look like with his little shirt on. He's got a lot of little pieces. So that's kind of good. They're very high quality though. I'm really like pleasantly surprised. <clears throat> and his little hands are sewn up. You know, he, he kind of also reminds me of like a mix of maybe the My Child dolls from the from the 80s and Cabbage Patch Kids because they had the soft sculpture hands, like where everything was sewn up. That's kind of unique. How cute is that? <laughs> Look at that hair. I love his hair color. He's got like silver and baby blue. And I don't know if you can see how. That's really cool, the patterns in his hair. I love when they don't just make a doll's hair one color. <clears throat> this is where I do my face-ups normally, so I'm trying to keep him away from that. Okay, there we go. Now, what are these? This looks like... <clears throat> oh, it's just a little hoodie. Aw, how cute is that? It's too bad the zipper's not functional, but it is so cute. And he's got little drawstrings, but they're just sewn in. They're not actual drawstrings, I don't think. No. But the hood, I don't think, is going to fit on his head. It's just for decoration. He is a premium doll. He's not just the regular Nana surprise. Very easy to dress. Like that little heart, the little hands just pop right into the. There we go. His pockets look functional though. His arms don't, like, I don't know. The hands aren't twisty. Like, they don't twist very well. But he's so cute, though.
Okay. So open the shoes. Okay, let's see. I think he's a hat. Yeah. Let's see what this is. Okay, here's his little hat. It has a little shark fin on it. His whole theme has been sharks, which is adorable. Jawsome. And that's actually embroidered on. That's like really high quality. Now, I'm kind of assuming that this is supposed to stay, I don't know if this is supposed to stay on him or not. It didn't, I didn't see it in the uh, box art. So I'm assuming I can take that off if I want. Okay. There he goes. There's a little hat. There's a little shark fan on his hat. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. This is just too adorable for words. Okay. So he's got to have some pants in here. Okay. Okay. This is like a little brush for his hair. A little shark. It's a little shark. Can you believe that? It's a little shark. So now this has got to be his pants. I can't imagine that it's in the doll pantless. Now apparently MGA makes these, which makes the um, the uh, Bratz dolls. Oh wow, his little shorts are very detailed. Hemmed, very good quality. A nice amount of stretch to them. It's, uh, his socks are actually part of his legs, so you can't lose them. Sorry if I'm going off camera at all. I'm not trying to. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this off because I don't think it has to stay on there. There we go. I'm going to keep it, but... His little jacket wants to keep opening. I'm not sure if that's because of how I put it on him or what, but there we go. His hat's adorable. Okay. He's got gel in his hair, so I'm hoping to brush some of that out. He's got gel in his hair, but I don't want to risk washing it because he's a cloth doll. There we go. I like his hair loosened up a little bit. Now, I just want to look at how his hair's sewn in. This is so cool because that's a, uh, that's a cloth head, and yet they've sewn the doll hair in as if it was rubber. So I'm assuming it's punched into the rubber, and they, they do the traditional sewing the way they do for any doll. A little bit of shedding there. I feel like most dolls do shed a little bit because the loose hair that's in there from being sewn in. So I always end up trimming a little bit. Although I did have a Barbie that like all of her hair fell out. Brand new. Now let's... Little 
fan. It just kills me. Let me just trim these a little bit. There's a few little. There we go. Okay, let's put a little shoes on. These are so freaking cute. <laughs> wow. Yeah, these are adorable. Yeah, you can see the little... Look at the little fingers. Oh, my God. And his face. This doll is super cute. I don't regret this at all. He's definitely a keeper. His arms bend a little bit, so I can... Very cute. I hope they make fashions for these. If they haven't already, let me know if you've seen fashions for these dolls. There you go. Well, that is it, guys. This is the cutie pie, the cutie patootie. Look at his little ears. Oh, my God. Very, very cute. If you haven't gotten one of these, I do recommend them. They're very high quality. Definitely, I can see why they were the price tag they were. They, they're about uh, $26. That's what I've seen at Target. So, so that is it, guys. This is Quinn Nash. Um, here's his little paper workbook, I guess, to show the other characters in the line. I love the little goth girl. She's so cute right here. I think that's probably the other one I want to try to get. I've seen this one everywhere. I have him. I've seen this one. And I think this these two are probably my favorites. Other than the boy. Very cute, though. The back is just blank. This is just kind of an advertisement. So the names are Quinn Nash, Samantha Smarty, Carmen Linda, Rebel Dare. Of course, the goth girl is Rebel Dare. And Coco Von Sparkle. That one's, she looks like a drag queen. <laughs> these are so adorable. Definitely like these. I definitely, guys, I'm giving these dolls a 10 out of 10. This is a gorgeous little set of dolls. I've got to try to get the others now. Okay, guys. Well, that is it. Uh, please like, uh, subscribe, and comment below. Tell me which one you think you're going to want, if you're going to want these. What do you think of soft sculpture dolls? Like, do you think they're worth it? Are you scared of them a little bit? Because maybe they can get more dirty than dolls can. I feel like there's more art behind these dolls. Like, you just don't... This is really, really high quality. Okay, guys. Well, thank you for watching, and uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.